Hello. Hello. My name is Father Jack Costello. <clears throat> I'm the rector of Epiphany Cathedral. I want you to thank you for taking time to become more familiar with our faith community by viewing our webpage. As you can see, it's a very active place, and I'd invite you to continue to get to know us better, maybe even join us. In this section of the website, I give a short reflection on the previous Sunday's gospel. And this past Sunday, the gospel was about Jesus raising his good friend Lazarus from the dead. Everybody, as we know, as you know, is afraid of something in life. It could be storms, it could be fires or dogs or cats, uh, losing your hair, growing older, uh, lo losing your wallet, being alone, or being with too many people. There are all sorts of fears, fears of heights, fears of dark places, of snakes, and so forth. We all have fears about something, but probably the most common fear that unites all the people, without exception, is the fear associated with the reality of death. For the people of Christ's day, things were no different at all. Folks then were just as unsure and uneasy about the mystery of death as we are today. So when Jesus Christ said that he was the resurrection and the life, he was speaking words of hope and great encouragement, not only for Lazarus and his two sisters, but also for every single human being who was born and who will certainly enter the tomb at the end of their earthly journey. Tombs come in all sorts of shapes and forms. They're not only made of stone and granite. Tombs can be seen all around our society and culture, as well as in our personal and family lives as well. We see the tombs of isolation and indifferentism, that enslave us or our loved ones to so many personal obsessions, compulsions, or addictions. We see the tombs that lock us out from involvement within our community or improving our society. We see the tombs that cover up physical or emotional abuse. And outside of each and every one of those tombs, Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life, stands there today and says to us, remove the stones, untie those bound up in death clothes, and let them go free. Do not be a silent spectator. Become part of the miracle with me. We need to remember that the story of Lazarus is not only something that happened some 2,000 years ago in Israel. It is something that is going on right here and now in our own day. Jesus Christ, the resurrection and the life, is truly among us in the power of his word, in the presence of his sacraments, and in the lives of his followers, saying to each of us, remove, untie, and set free again. The gospel stories are always stories about God's powerful grace touching our lives with reversals, with renewal, and with resurrection. There is never any limit to what God's power can accomplish in the human heart, if only we let him. Whatever the gospels recall and remember about Christ, it always has to do with him bringing us something far better in our lives, something healthier about ourselves, or something important about our relationship with Almighty God or with the people around us. Today's passage from St. John is a positive reminder that Jesus Christ always comes to us, wherever we are powerless, to bring the message of hope and renewal, just as surely as he came to Martha, to Mary, and to their brother Lazarus so long ago. It's also an invitation from that same risen Christ to become part of the miracle, to reach out to others around us who may still be locked up in some sort of tomb of fear 
or grave of discouragement. May we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus then, who is the resurrection and the life, and allow the Lord to use us in this way during the next week to be his instruments of new life and renewal for our brothers and sisters who find themselves entombed. God bless. Have a great week.